Well, I was going to put away my ice fishing stuff for the year, and then I seen a, a video opportunity pop up in front of me because I haven't posted anything in a long time. So I'm gonna make a how-to on how I made a homemade automatic fisherman, and it actually works really well, and it costs literally nothing if you have just scraps, scrap piece of wood, coat hanger. These are chicken staples, I think they're called. Piece of PVC and just a couple screws. Oh yeah, and there's one more part. Oh, where is that at? You're gonna need a big, I'm not sure what that is, it's like a big uh, eye loop, like a keychain kind of thing. But yeah. First thing you wanna do is find you a board. It doesn't even have to be, doesn't have to be anything nice. This board right here, I, this, I had this on both sides. I didn't want that on this side, so I just took it and I snapped it off. It doesn't have to be any good looking board because this is just meant to be functional, not meant to look good. See, it has these dados in them, and they're just not, they're not the boards. That's first step after you get your 20 inch long piece of wood is you're going to want a piece of one and a half inch PVC and then go and cut a angle in it so that it'll sit on here like this. After that, you're going to want to go line it up with this, and then you're going to take a screwdriver, and you're going to screw holes where you're going to put in your screws. I already have that done because I already pre-made this, and I took it apart so I could show you how to make this in this video. Next step is you're going to want to pause the video right here so you can see how to make this thing made out of a coat hanger and it's just bent in the way that I show it right here and that's it right there this is probably the most complicated part of this whole project and it's not very complicated at all so pause the video so you can use this as a template to make this okay next step you're going to want to take your rod that you're going to use in this thing so take it and then put it in your fused PVC take the tip of it and then bend it down to about right here and then use this piece and put it on here to see about where it's going to sit so you're going to know where you want to drill your hole for this thing. Mark where you're going to drill your hole, drill your hole through, and then use the remainder of your coat hanger that you used to make this piece, and then bend it into a loop right here, put it through the hole, and then do what I did here. Take it like that, hammer it down with chicken staples, or you could probably just use a normal staple gun if you have one, because that would probably work just as good. And that's that. And then after that, you're going to want to take this piece and then take this key loop thing that I showed you. And you're going to you're gonna want to thread that onto that loop that we just made. And then run this thing through there. So that's on there like that now. Alright, last up. You're going to want to take any old, ordinary scrap piece of wood. As you can see here, what I use is definitely not anything special. And you're going to take and just drill a hole in the general area of the center. So you drill that hole, you take a bolt, you put a washer right here so that don't go through there. Put it down through here. You take a nut and thread it onto the bolt. Just get that finger tight. This right here isn't really a necessary part. It's just making sure that this is the thing that's not going on the hole no matter what. So when you're not using this, you can just take that and fold it up like this. And it's out of the way. Okay, now how this thing works is you take your rod. And if you have an inline reel like this, you're still want to feel it's a line, obviously, so you can put it down the hole with your shiner. This is basically a substitute for a tip-up. And it's basically a substitute for a automatic fisherman, which is usually 40 bucks. And I made this for literally zero. So that's a lot better than 40 bucks, in my opinion. So you're going to want to take your the first loop on your ice rod and put it through this right here. And I'll sit like that. You want to take your excess line that you have here, put it through that right there. And that right there is going to act as like, kind of like it's act like that. And it's gonna, like that first eye loop. So it's going to hold your line where you want it to be. 
And then when a fish comes along and tugs on your line, it's gonna tug on the line. It's gonna come off like that and it's gonna set the hook. So that was the video on how to make that automatic fisherman. Made it for literally zero money at all. And if you had to pick up stuff for this, it probably wouldn't be any more than ten dollars, which would be a lot better than it's dropping the forty bucks in that automatic fisherman. So thanks for watching. Please comment, like, subscribe. And uh, hopefully in the future here we'll have a lot more fishing videos coming out because it's March and it's pretty cold here in Michigan still. High of 30s, low of like the low 20s during the nights here, so it's still pretty cold. Hoping to get some fishing videos up pretty soon here. Hoping to get, hoping to get out fishing here pretty soon. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching.